Hi guys, today um, I've got all the Lego collection out on the bed, so because um, we're actually rearranging it. Um, but I thought I'd take this opportunity just to sort of show you uh, what I've amassed in terms of Lego investing um, as my collection for the past sort of four or five months, about about October-ish I think I started. So yeah, I'll flip you around now. So just a very quick video just to show you the collection. This is kind of what I've amassed, um, as I say, over the past four or five months. Um, you can see that these boxes down here are full with stuff. These are full with stuff. There's the Beatles set that I uh, showed on a whole video. These are more recent purchases here. I've got about five of them, I think. I've got about four or five of them. I've got some more of the Flash set down there. Uh, just got tons of stuff, tons of speed champions, tons of speed champions. Um, that box is full of uh, Lego Star Wars advent calendars. As you can see there, I'm not going to get them out, but yeah. Um, uh, that is my recent purchase um, from the Lego haul that I got. And again, that Jabba's sail barges. But pretty crazy. I've got more stuff in there as well. It's just pretty pretty insane the level of lego i've managed to kind of build up even just in like you know less than half a year um so yeah i just wanted to take this opportunity very very quick video just to just to show you because it's you know i'm not going to get another opportunity to show you my entire collection um maybe for another few months so as you can see these are some of the sets that i got uh recently as well some of the superhero sets um, someone informed me superhero sets aren't the best to invest in because there's something happening like in a few months. But to be honest, I think in the longer term they're still going to do alright, these superhero sets. The reason I pulled the trigger on these is because they are Guardians of the Galaxy sets. So I think it's, yeah, it is Guardians of the Galaxy. The other wave of Guardians of the Galaxy did okay, so that's kind of why I went on those. Um, and I think I got them for about 30% off, so it was a half decent discount. And uh, oh, there the princess sets picked up recently, um, and I got a load of these London buses as well that were on a really good deal online. Um, and then I got all my brick heads in here and all my other older sets, as you can see down the side there. A load more speed champions in there. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I did end up pulling the trigger on those city sets. I said to you the other day, I went back um, and got them anyway. Because I thought we were cheap enough just to grab them anyway. So, uh, yeah, I got them. And um, I think that's about it. And then I've got a couple of uh, promo items, free items from Lego Shop at Home back there, uh, down there when I was doing my orders in uh, December. And I have got a few more, like, Christmas sets around. I don't know where the Christmas sets are. Oh, down here I've got few Christmas sets here, uh, Lego 40222, that I just didn't sell this Christmas, I didn't send in or anything like that, I, I actually missed the boat to send them up to Amazon, so yeah, I've, I've just got them left over, um, so yeah, so like, basically what's happening is like, a bit of this collection will be for quarter four for Amazon, but a lot of it will be for investing in sort of the two year mark, around the two year mark. Uh, certainly this set here, that, that set will be a longer term set. I want to keep that for about five years actually. As well as the sale barge, those two I want to keep for a long, long time. Um, the rest of them, as I say, Speed Champions will probably be around the two year mark, a lot of them. Some of them I'll send up uh, this Q4, but a lot of them will be sort of a, a longer term investment. Or a slightly longer term investment anyway. Um, and then, as I say, some of it will be going up uh, this quarter four to Amazon. So it serves as, as a dual purpose, this little um, sort of project with the Lego investing. It serves as a, a, as a sort of way of amassing some stock for quarter four. And it also serves as a longer term investment that will get me more money than putting my money in a bank so yeah i mean okay there is a risk of this is a tangible asset and obviously um it could get damaged or something like that and then your money is uh, almost gone but with lego you know you can sell it used so even if the set they had to open the sets and sell them that way there's you know i've still got my money there so yeah um 
it's definitely a cool little um, sort of project going on and obviously I will update you with uh, haul videos in the future and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, I know it was a very very short one uh, but obviously I've got a lot to do today, I'm sorting this lot out, I'm going to uh, a friend's house actually to collect some stuff um, that he is obviously going to sell me, I have got parcels to do, it's Monday morning, it's just so hectic so yeah, I'll leave it there guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll be back very soon with some more um, sort of more in-depth videos and longer videos um, about anything and everything we selling really. So yeah, I'll leave it there guys. Thanks for watching and see you very soon. So uh, there's actually two more boxes under the bed. Uh, so I just quickly, I thought I'd just quickly show you them. Another couple of advent calendars which you've seen in the halls. A few bookheads. And then Speed Champions and then another couple of advent calendars. Just It just keeps on coming, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to add, I'll add that on the end of the video anyway.